Welcome sa zipline.com. Uh, in this video, pag-aaral natin kung ano yung sabihin ng equivalent fractions. Kung makikita nyo sa inyong screen, meron tayong tatlong containers, kunwari, no? Transparent containers na lalagyan ng tubig. So, sa unang container, hinati siya sa dalawa, two equal parts. Sa pangalawang container, into four equal parts. At sa pangatlong container, into eight equal parts. So, for example, ako gusto kong punuin yung mga containers. Ah, no, no. Gusto kong uh, uh, lagyan ng tubig hanggang kalahati lang. No? So, sa unang container, pwede kong gawin is to put water up to here. Sa pangalawa, up to here. And sa pangatlo, up to here. No? So, makikita ninyo, lahat yan, tagkakalahati. No? But we can represent them in different ways. So, dito pwede ko siya i-represent as one half. No? Medyo makapal yung ating panulat. So, pwede ko siya i-represent as one half. The second part, pwede kong i-represent as two fourth kasi two out of four. No? And the last container, I can represent it as four eighths kasi four out of eight. No? Pero lahat sila ay kalahate. No? Kung mapapansin ninyo, 1 half, tapos ang 2 fourth natin ay 1 half times 2, no? This is times 2 times 2 and then times 2. This becomes 2 fourth, no? And also, meron tayong 4 eight which is equal to uh, one half you know, multiply ng four yung both the numerator and the denominator. So this is one times four over uh, two times four, which is equal to four over eight, four over eight or four eight. Of course, uh, pwede ko rin gawin na uh, you multiply yung numerator and denominator by three, ne? So, 1 times 3, nagnene ako kasi Japanese, ano? sorry, uh, is 3, 6, no? And of course, 1 times 5 over 2 times 5, which is equal to 5, 10. Okay, so kung, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung 1 half pala o yung kalahati pala, pwede natin siyang i-represent in different ways. At itong mga representations na ito, ang tawag natin dyan, ang 1 half, ang 2 fourth, 3 sixth, 4 eighth, and 5 tenth, and so on, and so on, no? are called equivalent fractions, no? This is V, no? equivalent fractions. So, ang fractions, pag, pag ang isang fraction, minultiply mo siya ng any number, no? For example, 3 fourth, pag minultiply mo siya ng any number, yung kanyang numerator and denominator, say 5 for example, makakakuha ka ng another fraction which is equal equivalent to the first fraction no? so palagi yan equivalent kasi whatever you multiply for example 3 times n over 4 times n is the same as 3n over 4n palagi yan equivalent because n will always cancel out no as long as n is not equal to 0 that hindi naman tayo pwede mag 0 over 0 no so in multiplying no ang um, makukuha natin is equivalent fraction. At the other way around, no? Pag ang 15 over 20, dinipide natin siya by 3, no? Or, or by 5, mangyayari is makakukuha rin tayo ng another equivalent fractions, no? Another equivalent fraction. So, for example, 16 over 24, pag nireduce natin siya sa lowest term by dividing both sides by, for example, 4, no? Or kahit hindi lowest, lowest terms, basta divide lang natin yung both sides by 
by any number na which is a factor of both numbers then the resulting fraction is also an equivalent fraction of that of this fraction of the original fraction so in dividing and multiplying a fraction with any number no ang makukuha natin ay ang equivalent fractions okay so this is also 16 divided by n over uh, 24 divided by n is also an equivalent fraction for n not equal to 0 no okay so yan yung ibig sabihin equivalent fractions yung isang fraction pwede natin siyang represent in many ways Okay, so maraming salamat. I hope pero kayo naintindihan sa ating uh, tutorial ngayon. Ang equivalent fractions po ay makagamit natin sa pag-compare ng fractions, sa pag-add ng fractions, sa pag-subtract ng fractions na i-discuss natin yan sa mga susunod na lessons. Okay, maraming salamat. Uh, gusto ko kayong invite sa sipnayan.com. Punta nito yung website na ito dahil nandun yung ating uh, listahan ng mga videos natin no? na pagkakasunod-sunod. Mas maganda kung uh, mapanood nyo siya ng sunod-sunod. And if you're watching in YouTube, pwede kayo mag-subscribe by uh, clicking the subscribe button dun sa ating uh, isa ibaba ng video natin. No? So every time na mag-post ako ng video ay may inform kayo pag kayo ay nakasubscribe. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.